Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I've just arrived on a lake. I'm doing an evening's tench fishing. First thing first though, get some bait out there to bring the fish into the swim. Having said that, I'm next to lily pads, so I'm not going to be far away from my target species this evening, am I? I'm fishing with sweet corn, a couple of grains on a size 10 hook. Sweet corn out there as bait as well, plus ground bait. If I put loose corn out there, lots of small fish near, such as roach and rudd, they'll intercept much of that bait before it even hits the deck. So, balls of ground bait with corn in, that's the way forward. I'm fishing with brown crumb, but also adding some flamino ground bait, different texture, slightly flavoured as well, but also it's a yellow colour. So, with a dark bottom, the corn's out there, it will stand out of course, but with the ground bait around there, it tends to soften the edges, if you like. Having said all that, this is fishing and the tench, they love sweet corn, so however it's presented, I'm sure I'll get amongst the fish. But what you want to do is think your session through and give yourself that little bit of an edge. Well, this is where the rubber hits the road. I've just cast out. I'm waiting for that rod tip to pull round. In the meantime, a cup of tea. I'm finally into a fish. I've had a couple of hook pulls. There's been lots of bubbles out there and liners. So I knew that sooner or later I would actually get one. Although having said that, it's not in the net just yet. So I certainly won't be counting any chickens until they're hatched or in this case, tench until they're in the net. It's putting up a nice fight. As you would expect, I'm fishing with six pound line straight through, size 10 hook, one grain of corn. I intend to fish with two, but they're quite big grains in that packet. Anyway, I'm about to net this and I'll show you in a moment. There it is, the first and hopefully not the last tench of the evening. into another fish. It actually feels like a decent one as well. I hope that I don't have a hook pull here. And it's now got a little bit heavier for the simple reason that it's gone into some weed. I've got that on the line but I'm bringing it in now to the net and hopefully that's where it will end up. Destination, my landing net. And there it is. Do you know what? It's not as big as I thought, but it's still nice to catch. There it is. Actually, it's quite nice, but you know what? The hook came out in the net. How close was that? I was just the right side of the line on that occasion. Well, the video comes to an end now. I hope you've enjoyed it. <clears throat> I certainly have. It's been a lovely, pleasant evening. Just a couple of tench. Lots of liners though, the fish are out there, not always obliging, are they? Anyway, last week, if you read my written blog, you'll know that I was up in Scotland, pre-Champions League camp with the New Saints, and we played Rangers and St Johnston. I also took a rod, did a little bit of sea fishing. This week, this current blog entry, we're playing Champions League proper, and we've got the champions of Gibraltar, at Park Hall. Well, next week we're on the road in Europe, not in Gibraltar because the pitch hasn't been passed by UEFA, but we're actually in Portugal. And do you know what? I'm going to take a rod with me. So, as they say, watch this space, out and about yourself, tight lines, and I'll see you next week. And this is what they call PS. <laughs> I was just about to put the camcorder away, the rod tip went round and I'm into a tench. And with this, it really is goodbye from me.